Hello and welcome to a, a show that's got to be better than the last one. <laughs> uh, I'm your host, Michael Riley, with me is Dade for Joan. Hey. And Jason Amherst. What up? So, for those of you who are wondering what Mike's talking about, now, here on in YouTube, like, a couple of weeks yeah. go by, maybe a couple of days even between episodes. But for us, it's literally just a couple of minutes and then Mike yep. records again. Holy and, crap. And uh, we're already starting off on a good foot, I think. Okay. Hey, it's a Pokemon game. Stadium. Yes. Or is this known in Japan, Pokemon Stadium 2? Because the first one was a Japanese-only game. <laughs> yeah, for oh, red and green. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I just read something amazing. Okay. Yes. The Pizza Hut lunch buffet is coming back. Nice. Hmm. Select locations around the U.S. are bringing back the buffet bit by bit. That's lovely, dear. Uh, Tilton, New Hampshire, uh, Hawaii, Tennessee, and uh, Toronto. Hmm. I actually, I wish I knew what they serve at a Pizza Hut buffet. I mean, besides the obvious of pizza. Uh, pizza, breadsticks, and salad. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's well, that's go. kind of underwhelming. But then again, it is Pizza Hut, so. Can't say I'm really that surprised. I should have picked Squirtle first. It's all right. Oh, actually, no, it's, Bul it's Bulbasaur. No, actually, uh... They go into battle poses. Changing Pokemon. I'm going to... I am going to bring out Squirtle. Against an electric type? Yeah. Nice. Well, one, Thunder Wave. I mean, that's going to paralyze no matter what, unfortunately. Uh, boop. You're just a uh, teeny bit overpowered. What are you talking about? No. Well, you know. Just something... Mm. Mm. Yes, something tells me that Pokemon's been hitting the uh, supplements. I think uh, I think Meow, I think Meow's been supplying. So you're Pokemon talking, needles. you're saying Squirtle's been juicing. Nice tall. That's kind of what I was. Nice tall that's glass. Kind of what of, I was trying to go. Nice tall glass of Squirtle juice. It's true. Ew. How will this <laughs> Ew, Squirtle, that came out of you? Disgusting. He frozen. <laughs> I was frozen uh, and today. I'm paralyzed. Sweet. Oh, isn't this lovely? Get me out of here. Oh, sweet. We're just gonna we're at a stalemate. All right. Uh, let's go, let's go Balbasaur. Come on out, Balbasaur. Get the, get the fuck out of here. I don't think Magnemite's still going to be able to do anything. I think he's still frozen. Nope. 
Oh, okay. Oh no, it's it's uh, oddish. Yeah. That was oh, this is... oh, this is terrible. Bulbasaur, cunt. I mean, cut. It Stop wasn't it. very effective. Uh, too bad you don't have a fire type. Oh Son of a God. bitch. I love how there's a run option, but you're in the middle of a trainer battle, so you can't run. Here's a Pokemon train. Come back. Jesus, Pikachu looks pissed. What now? Did you see that little smile Pikachu did? That was very unsettling. Thunderwave. Ha! Now you know how it feels, bitch. 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 Oh my god, I'm the opposite of Christopher Walken. I'm Christopher Reeve. Oh no. Dane, I just paused the recording. You can't say that. Anyway, shitty, shitty, fuck, fuck, cunty, cunty, fart, piss. You know, <laughs> to this day, I. I, I always found it very hilarious that Josh Hadley, a man who says whatever the fuck comes to his mind, that was the fucking line he drew in the sand. You can't say that, Dane. Anyway, I'll fuck a corpse. I don't care. <laughs> you can't say that, Dane. Anyway, I'm going to shoot that on. Fucking <laughs> You asshole. You can't say that, Dane. Anyway, I used to do a podcast with a fucking chomo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what do you mean chomo? Uh, Lawson Static? The guy that he Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy? Yeah, remember him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, it was for research. He was researching nubile young girls' bodies. And remember, folks, remember. He, he, I believe he's still in about jail. A week, about a week before he got discovered, he went on a long rant about, oh, Josh Hadley is a horrible, disgusting human being, and he's the worst. Mm -hmm. I'm going yeah, to go look at naked kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Listen. Josh might be a fucking idiot, but he doesn't do that shit. That's true. And listen, Josh would sign off on me calling him a fucking idiot, probably. Oh no, you killed Udash. <laughs> oh no, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Oddish. Why did you kill me on my birthday? No, because Tiff Tiffany Haddish. This is Tiffany Star as, as a Pokemon. <laughs> Volpix? Yeah. Would you like six pics of pops. my vulva? <laughs> Don't you mean vol? Don't you mean vol dicks? Oh! Once again, once again, I feel like hurt myself doing that. I feel like Tiffany would. I feel like Tiffany would find that hilarious. I mean, she'd find the joke hilarious, not the me extending the da 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 until. So you want to blow your fucking head off. <laughs> Mike, stop fucking doing that. Stop doing that or I'm going to come all over you. <laughs> For my birthday. For <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. 
You dumbass. <sighs> like I said, maybe you should just switch to, to, to Squirtle and surf it, you know? Uh, if he's not still paralyzed. Uh, that's not gonna go away, unfortunately. That's the only problem. Yeah, no, like, for some odd reason, I don't know if you got items or not in this game, but, uh, if you could... You don't got none of them potions, none of them, uh... Oh no, it became confused. Yeah, get fucked. A Jesus hit! A Jesus hit. Sparks are flying in this heated match. Look what Jesus did! <laughs> Look what Jesus did! Look what Jesus did! Jesus! What'll it do? Oh, the attack missed! Yes! I'm no longer confused! It's super effective. Speed. There we go. And now they're going to send out the paralyzed Magnemite, and you can just literally mag them. You can mag the Magnemite. I swear to God, I thought it you said, because of the Discord cutting out for a second there, I thought you said you could just mac on him. <laughs> mm. Magnemite, you kind of look like a boss. Oh, that's why there's only one Magnemite, but two in a mag or uh, three in a Magneton. Is because if there were two of them, it would just look like balls. Yeah. 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 So I could just mac on him. Oh, you lied oh to me, and you say you'd never <laughs> turn on me. You lied to me. Return of the man. Lick Once my again, return. return. Suck my dick and turn of the back. Eat my ass. Mark Morrison let, got in trouble with the law a whole bunch and it fucking hurt his career. Wait, he did? Oh, yeah. He sure did. A lot. He was constantly in trouble with the law. Wait. Let's. Hold on a second. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Yep, it's one okay. of the things I learned about in that one hit Wonderland episode on that on that song. Jesus, this guy couldn't fucking stay out of trouble, could he? No. <laughs> it really was a detriment to his career. <laughs> Extremely detrimental to his career. Return of my ball. Uh thoughts on Pokemon Stadium, Dane? It's pretty good, pretty, 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 pretty good. It's a lot better than uh, Monster Truck Madness '64. Oh yeah, that's a show. Jason. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it beats the crap out of Golden Nugget. You didn't <laughs> even play that. Yeah. I did, I didn't even I couldn't even switch over to the game screen so you could see that we were that I had picked that I had started it up. That's how quick the diarrhea card came on that one. Yeah, it's po it, it's Pokemon Stadium. That's, that's just how diarrhea it's is. It's such a know? good game. Sometimes it's quick, and other times it's not. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, Pokemon Stadium. It's just it's just a really good game, and there's no other way to describe it. Scores out of ten, Dane. Dang. Jason. Ten. Ten. It's gonna be hard to top that one. Let's hope it's... Up next, Superman 64. Oh, no. I was hoping you didn't jinx us. I swear to God. If Superman 64 comes up, I'm going to be very upset. All right, this is... Yep. Yeah, diarrhea card here. Diarrhea card initiated. Dane? Sure. All right. Konami Sports. You know it's not going to be good. Because last time, when I did skip, Jesus was like, I'll fucking kill you. I'll oh. your existence. <laughs> Why did it sound like you were singing it? I'll fucking kill you. 
face turned into Mike McDonald. Oh, I'm Bonnie Fogg will kill you. you. You fucking remember my name forever. Okay. Okay, Lucas starts. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah, That's baby. This is what I call pod racing. This is what I call poo racing. I got this, uh, I got this on Switch. Nice. We Yeah, she even got motion controls where you can hold the Joy-Con as if they were the, uh, actual, like, pod racer controls. Well, this is definitely no Daytona! I knew you want to say. Oh, that was a pit droid. Hey, what's up, pit droid? What's up, fuckface? There was also an arcade version of this made by Sega. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Yeah. Anakin, Team Topagalis, Sabulba, Rats Tyrell, Alder mm. Alder Beto, Maul Honick, Ark Bumpy Roos, Juan Sandage. Jin, I want a sandwich. Jiz Riso. Jin Riso. Evie Endicott. Dud uh, Bolt. I would never pick a racer named Dud. I'm sorry. Gasgano. Gasgano. Johnny Gasgano. <laughs> Great wrestler. Clegg Holdfast. Mm. Elon Mock. Elon Musk? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. That must be a Man, would you get a load of all these glip shittos? <laughs> <laughs> so, that must be a Tesla he's driving. Ne- <laughs> Never key. <laughs> Never. Ba- Habazi Baranta. Are we sure that um, the people from Rick and Morty didn't make these names up? Odie Mandrill. Like I said, there are a bunch of gloop shadows. Hey, it's Schlum yeah. Schlibbity Bomb. Uh, oh, Clegg Holdfast. Let's play let's play his bumpy. Moanic. Alright. Let's play his bumpy. This game is Moanic. Well, I mean, I have been making a joke that's common within the Star Wars fandom. It's uh no name characters with weird names. It's uh anybody who's not a named character in Star Wars that's like, you know, reserved for a background scene. Is uh, referred to as a gloop shito. Welcome to Watto's shop. I am clearly not a stereotype. Uh, what are you talking about, man? I ain't, I'm not Jewish. What is the currency in the Star Wars universe? Is it called from Luke? Oh, oh, this right. says true goods. Don't know why it says uh, true goods. Yeah, I don't either. Um, this is my favorite um, Star Wars character. His name is Blinks. Blink, blink. His name is Booty Fart McGoodicoody. Oh, and that's that's he's part of the Knights of the Old Republic, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jace, I meant to ask you, how did the uh, radio play go? <clears throat> Went well. Unfortunately, we couldn't use the audio clip because uh, the pacing didn't line up for the second half of the line. And uh, I tried recording my own take to, like, fill in the other half. But uh, my impression is you can't freaking touch the quality of yours. Did, um... it, it made Joel laugh. Like, his, his reaction when he heard it, like, 
he was just like, oh my God. And he's like, this is great, except I can't use the second half of it. I was like, hey, how the hell did that happen? Because I recorded it regularly. Because for some, uh, because the way you said the second half of the line, you said it in like all one breath really fast. And oh. it didn't, it didn't match the pacing of like, how everybody else read the line, which yeah. was like similar to the original line. You know, I wish somebody I would have like. Couldn't have overlaid. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so fast. Oh my god, bump blurpy blump is going almost well, 700 miles an hour. I know. I I did some upgrades. Oh Jesus. Oh Clip boy. Shudo is maxed out, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> now that's pod racing. Hi, I'm Greg Proops. I was in the first episode one Star Wars movie. Do you know that? Yes. How many how, yeah, how many how many uh, how many episode one Star Wars were there? Seven. Oh. But he was only in the first one, I see. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> hey, you think you think you fucking got me there, didn't you? <laughs> you think you're better than me? <laughs> Constant. No. Oh. You're probably <laughs> you're probably right. Oh. Oh, shut your fucking mouth. You know this. This and is the infamous shut game. Shut your mouth and open that, your ass. Uh, Shut your it's the infamous game that uh, put the sound effect stuck forever etched in my brain. It's a new left record. Yeah, the uh, the voice role in the uh, game is uh, actually, I guess, uh, both Scott Caporo and Greg Proops are in this game as the announcers. That was one well, lap. Wow! All right. Didn't, uh, didn't Greg, Greg Proops and John DiMaggio voice in a game together? Maybe. Uh, Mad World or whatever that was called. Oh, Mad World! Yeah, that was the one starring uh, Stephen J. Bloom as Mad World Jack. How many times did I have to tell you? Nobody said there'd be any math. I blame the schools. <laughs> That's literally the one joke I remember from that game. Oh, maybe that's a different game then. Mad World was on the Wii. What the... <sighs> let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, it was. Tr City was transformed to the stage of a recurring game show called Death Watch with announcers Howard Buckshot Holmes, Greg Proofs, and former Death Watch fighter Priest Creeley, John DiMaggio. I knew I wasn't great, right? The remaining citizens of Berrigan City and new hopeful ones become the show's contestants, with Jack Kamen, played by Steve Bloom, a man with a chainsaw attached to his prosthetic arm entering the games. Oh, so he's just Ash Williams. I see. <laughs> More or less, he's just anime Ash. Yep. Ash, Ash Williams is only a lot less cool because it's not Bruce Campbell. Uh, I was going to say... Ask this, though. Uh, it's hard to top Bruce Campbell in the pool. It's true. Agent 13, played by Jim Ward... Uh, games organizers led by Noah, Dwight Schultz, um, Jack meets Leo Falmont, played by Danny Cooksey. Jack Mehoff. Danny Cooksey? Yeah. You mean what? You know. Yep. Yeah. Montana <laughs> Max. Wow. Hey. We've, we've, just so you know. we've interviewed one of his co-stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So... Just remember, folks, just remember, Danny Cooksey literally saved the world 
in Terminator 2 Judgment Day because he didn't snitch to a police officer. It's true. He was also the villain in Shaolin Showdown. Hmm. And it made him want to fart. So it's I hope we never part. Now get it right or pay the price. <laughs> uh... I miss talking to Michael Roy Bauer. If you missed so much, why don't you marry? Uh, I'm not into dudes. Huh. He was also a stoop kid in Hey Arnold. Uh, yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, Milo in Pepper Ann. Oh, that was him? Yep. Huh. Also, Dave and Dave the Barbarian. That's right, Peter. He was in Dave the Barbarian. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ran, watch the fucking. Uh, uh, Roll the seventh grade. <laughs> Is today. That's, the yeah, that... Did someone steal my lunch? <laughs> Seriously, that's the only thing I remember from that. Is like. The theme song, the uh, and the fact that Milo was like, "Is today fish stick day?" Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Something, something, Wasn't something. A bad something show. Beat the hell out of freaking Disney's version of Doug. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So, so, you might want to sit down for this in Nickelodeon's Doug. Roger Klotz wins the lottery. Okay. Yes. Skunky Beer is really fucking annoying and overexposed as a character. All right. Yeah, he was no longer that guy who was constantly mentioned but never shown. Skunky Beer. Um, skunky Beer, whatever. Doug and Patty date, but then they break up. But then they date again, but then they break up, but then they date again. And Skeeter basically max on BB for all the turn. So, oh, and, and Doug has a Doug has a younger brother too. And Mr. Oh, Dink uh, uh, and Mrs. Then, Dink becomes the mayor. Mr. Dink goes to jail thought, for tax fraud. I thought Mrs. Dink was the mayor. That's what he said. Yeah, Mrs. Dink became the mayor. That's literally oh, what he well, said. You were talking over him, you Mrs. Um, Dink becomes the mayor. Oh, wait, I thought Mrs. Dink becomes the mayor. No, Mrs. Dink becomes the mayor. Up, I, you were talking over him. No, I didn't. Shut up. It, he said his full sentence you know before what? I talked at all. You know what? You're a fucking, you're a fucking Eddie Endicott. How about that? Yeah, you, well, you know what? When you said stinky whatever earlier, uh, the Discord cut out and it sounded like you said stinky beaver. <laughs> and that's, you should wash it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know what? You guys could do the rest of this episode yourself. I'm going to go outside and do that day. Bozzy Baranta. Yeah, oh, I'm going to hey. my Baranta. He just talked. <laughs> it's Greg Proops talking. That was Greg Proops as the announcer there talking. Nice. <laughs> so he's in this game, too. Sweet. Man. That's a new wow, record. <laughs> you peckerhead. I love how all these races don't take place on Mos Eisley, yet when you win, you're suddenly in front of the grand uh, grandstands at uh, the freaking Bunda Eve Raceway. Yeah, figure that out. I don't know. <sighs> Track favorite is Fud Sang. <laughs> Fun sang, fun sang, baby. And you're playing the uh, courses in reverse order. I don't care. Oh no, the the movie's going backwards. There's Greg Poops again. Poops, Poops again. <laughs> the three looks like the monster logo. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble beating the track favorite. <laughs> who, who even is the track favorite? Bud Sang. Bud Sang. And we're fine. Got it. Yep. Totally. I'm going to be... I'm going to beat the Bantha Fado out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to beat the Wookiee piss out of this guy. <laughs> you thought you were a pro, but you're just a Wookiee. <laughs> Are you calling me a... I'm not a Wookiee, I'm a Jedi. I didn't say Wookiee, I said Wookiee. Oh, shit. I'm... Backwards. I'm trying. There we uh, go. Oh no! Oh yeah, I think the shoulder button's like allowing you to like turn yourself uh, <laughs> vertically, you know, so you can fit through tight spaces. And Sweet. We were going this way, that way. Yeah, this I was, uh, fucking this motherfucker. Motherfucker. Fun to play on the projector, actually. Yeah, this does seem like a good projector game. You're right. The shoulder buttons do not do what you said they do. The L button actually just changes the radar. Oh. Yeah. There was a button that, like, freaking... There's that voice again. Freaking... Just freaking... It's a new just freaking... Freaking freaking, you know? <laughs> this character sounds like he's vomiting all the time in his vehicle. I like the Tasmanian Devil's having like a hard time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Doop dab scabadoo dooba doo bop. I ain't got no body. Oh, for a second there, I thought Salmonella Fitzgerald was going to be visiting. Salmonella Fitzgerald. <laughs> you heard me. You heard me. I did. Uh, yeah, if you, got, if you got Salmonella Fitzgerald, you got to lick a monkey. Excuse me? Them's you the heard him. <laughs> Those are the rules. Go eat it. I gotta lick a monkey. I just stop a chimp and lick it. Hey, right, yep. come here, Gar Jeremy Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hasta the way, go. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Oh, oh no! I licked him, and now I'm unfunny. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I think Dane missed that part. <laughs> He's gonna need to come back because, in like the minute I finish this race, we're gonna have to talk about the game. <laughs> Gotta enjoy that John Williams score, though. Yeah, that's awesome. This game is fucking great. So, we've yeah. gone from the last episode, last week, was a shitty shit fest of shit. And so far, this has been two absolutely amazing games. I wonder if our luck will continue. Did you hear the part where I said I licked him and I'm unfunny now? <laughs> Vaguely. Okay. Are you vaguely familiar? <laughs> I am. I'm very familiar with how I'm funny. You. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Everything. Everything shifted I'm around. I'm Jeremy Garcia. I'm Jeremy Garcia. If I talk loudly, that means I'm funny. Okay. Screaming. Jizz, okay. jizz, poopy, doopy, doopy, poopy, doopy. <laughs> He went to the fucking Dane Cook School of Comedy. I'm coming out of my balls. My balls are empty. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Anyway. 
Thoughts on Star Wars Episode Run Racer, Dane? That was very fucking fun. I liked it. That's what I call pot racing. And it's fun to have great groups in a game. Jason. This is such a good game. I freaking love it. Yeah, this is uh, night and day between this and Monster Truck Madness. Monster Truck Madness was the ass of the highest variety. It was like it was like getting Boogie 2298 to sit on your face. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I never know. Yeah, exactly. This. This is like getting Pokemane to sit on your face. That's a way better prospect. Honestly, who wouldn't want that? It's, true. it's great. I would. I would rather Pokemon than Pokemon 2 tonight. That's goddamn straight. Uh, th- uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Dang. Jason. 10. 10. That's two games in a row that have been solid 10s. Now. Open and pray. Oh. Uh, that would be our luck, wouldn't it? That right, would be our luck. Rugrat Scavenger Hunt. Oh, no. Or ba- Bass Hunter. Something like that. One of those. Our micro machines. What we do is still have four diarrhea cards, so. Oh, we might be using one. I don't know about this, guys. Well, let's this see. This one might not be good. I've got a present for hmm. That was left handed. Oh, my. Who did that? Installing. Who was that man? Um. Oh, Command and Conquer. Yeah. Is but isn't Command and Conquer like a fairly good series? It's, it's an RTS game. Yeah. Real time strategy. That's why I was like, uh... oh. <sighs> uh, I mean, I don't. I don't mind those games per se. You know. You know what? I'll we'll, I'll let this one slide. Okay. Because I'm in a good mood. Yeah, they somehow fit cutscenes into this too, on top of it all. I didn't appreciate those mouths. Those mouths were a little too big. What does a mouth do? <laughs> Alright, first of all, you gotta close that. I want to combine this game with uh, a classic uh, made by Rare, Command and Conquer's Bad Fur Day. You know what, Mike? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a letter to the Video Game Corporation and, and tell them about your idea. And I'm sure that they will get right on it. I'm going to write a letter to Video Games, Inc. That's correct, sir. Let them know. The Command and Conquer's Bad Fur Day is a can't-miss prospect. It'll literally print money, uh-huh. and if you if you refuse it, you're a fucking fool. Correct. All right. Nope. I'm trying to get my microphone to stop sliding away from me. I think my fucking shit is fucked. There we go. That's better. All right. Oh, God. It's going to be a point and click. Man, yep. I really don't know about that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a shame that this game did not work with the N64 mouse. What should I do? Anyway, Glo- because the- Global or, Defense? Uh, mouse only, uh... Um... I kind of like the name Brotherhood of Nod, but... Huh? Let's go. I need the bad... I need the bad... Get the bad guys? So, you're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Well, I'm Seth. Just like Seth. From God to Cain to Seth. I am his right hand. And I have a task for you. This is Nakuma. And he is causing... That looks like John Tron. Shit. I don't like where this is going. 
Okay. Is everybody is everybody like copacetic here? Reinforcements have arrived. I, I don't know. What? Wait, did you shoot the people? Uh, I don't know what Wait, I did. Did they shoot you? Moving out. Ready and waiting. Moving out. You got it. Ready to serve, my lord. Thanks, Homer. Moving out. <laughs> Those fucking screams. Yes, sir. Yep. Moving out. Acknowledge. Huh, okay. Interview about the behind the scenes of Tim Curry's line in uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert 3. I mean the spies. Yep. Uh, okay. so I remember seeing that clip forever ago on YouTube. It usually came up in the same rotation as anything can happen on Halloween from the worst witch. Uh, the little flutter toward the end where Curry pauses and looks like he's recomposing himself before belching up spies in his half a Russian accent is just magical. It's like he didn't know the line was coming, and as soon as he realized what he was about to say, he couldn't handle it. <laughs> I um, think the pleasure of it is that Tim Curry is the master of camp and the master of menace, and in the clip, we finally witness something that is t finally too ridiculous and too ultra, finally too much even for him. Tim Curry has played the devil with 18-inch horns, but this, is, at last, is the bridge even he almost cannot cross. But then he brings it home. The accent, the costume, the arc of the character himself, finally exhausted by whatever indignities he has suffered at the player's hands. It is perfect storytelling. So basically what they're saying is that he corpsed during the recording of that video. And that was the There's best people thing. describing it. Uh, the writer who wrote it says, uh, I wrote the line, uh, lead designer. I hadn't heard about that clip being popular at the time. It wasn't in the top 10 of what we thought were over the top lines in the script. So that's interesting. Producer. I remember thinking it was a fun, funny moment, though. Of course, I couldn't have expected it would wind up still making the rounds all these years later. Uh, story and cinematics producer. I didn't even know it was a thing. Uh, Assistant Cinematics Editor. I didn't know until recently myself. I saw somebody post it on Twitter. And I saw a bunch of people reacting, too. I was like, holy shit. Oh, I did that. Uh, Surprise! General Manager from EALA. Uh, I was amazed to see how popular it had gotten. Got to figure out how I could exploit that. That's 12 million views on YouTube, you know? Cinematic editor. I'm the worst in social media, so no, I didn't know. But my wife, that's her job. And I just turned to her and said, did you know? And she said, yes, and pulled up a hell of a lot of the posts. And I was like, why didn't you ever tell me? And she shrugged. Because I'm not a good wife. Oh. Uh, the way the internet is, nothing surprises me anymore. For all I know, I'm a meme out there. Because I don't love you, and I'm actually banging Tim Curry. Online, <laughs> Uh, is no strange thing. I don't have TikTok. You know these algorithms nowadays. They just throw the same stuff at you. And I guess they didn't think I would want to see my own stuff. Okay. <laughs> Apparently yeah. it was produced while in crunch. That, was, that, that line was too ridiculous even for me. And I was in Gordon Pirate Muppets. <laughs> Butt Muppets. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say. Muppet Treasure Island. Mm. Me and Miss Piggy fucked. Okay, so here's where the concept came from. What if all of those crazy projects that we hear about from World War II were real? What if the Montauk Project and Nikola Tesla's technology actually got to see the light of day and got production. There's all these conspiracy theories that we were playing with, with teleportation. We were playing with invisibility. We were looking through all of this conspiracy theory stuff, and we said, what if all of this was true? 
And then I came up with the idea yeah. that Einstein actually invented a time machine, and he decided the most important service could be for uh, uh, killing Hitler. We had this whole thing slated where Einstein, with a sniper rifle, this take-apart, break-down sniper rifle, we're going to watch him assemble it, and then right when Hitler's released from prison from his first jail term, just explodes his head. That was going to be the beginning of the game. But unfortunately, that never happened because Brett Sperry, co-founder of Westwood, didn't want to kill Hitler. To this day, I don't understand why. Maybe he wanted to keep him around for some other reason. So that movie of Einstein being a sniper and killing Hitler from afar became a movie about him walking up to him, shaking his hand and doing this weird, like, he has the ability to make him teleport away or disappear by touch. It didn't make sense at all. But nonetheless, the idea was we were going to take some of these kinds of wild technologies, portray them in the near science fiction future of our military technology. The product was originally serious, almost like retro science fiction. It was meant to be serious. It wasn't meant to be a joke. Well, I hate but to tell you. by the time of Red Alert 2, it was just a loud, cheesy military misadventure that pits presidents against brains in jars and broadens players' arsenals. What the hell? Basically, it was... We didn't know what we were doing until we did it, and things just kind of got out of hand. Yeah. There's a little point. I just want to point out that at certain points during Chase's little monologue there, his audio was getting very strained because it sounded like you know, like uh, he was turning in into cartoons. a robot. Well, in cartoons, when you hear like an evil version, like <laughs> <laughs> the devil was coursing through Jason. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. I'm very bored with this game. Yeah. I don't. I don't really want to play it anymore. Thoughts on uh, Command Simmons has been the game too, apparently. Th- uh, thoughts on Command and Conquer, Dane. Um Spires. That that's all I have. Jason. Uh much more fun with a keyboard and mouse. Uh why did they release a mouse permit? Oh wait, they did, just not in America. Thank you, Evil Jace. Uh, yeah, no, this is... I don't... I'm not a fan of RTS games. I just don't like them. They're very slow and boring. But is and it worse than Shadowgate? It's not. But at the same time, after the two absolute tens that we just played, this game looks like dog shit. I'm just saying. Mm. It's not as good. Doesn't hold up. Scores out of 10, Dane? Four. Jason? <laughs> I'm going to give it a five. On this edition of the show, we played Pokemon Stadium. Uh, what the fuck else? <laughs> I forgot now. Star Wars. Star Wars Episode Racer. 1 Racer and Command and & Conquer. Best game of the episode, Dane? Uh, I'm going to say Star Wars. Jason? Uh, you know me, I'm a Star Wars nerd, so Star Wars. I'm going to give it to Star Wars Episode One Racer. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Good, 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 good. Bye.